call perhaps the most sophisticated monitoring program ever deployed in Africa or anywhere else. The election monitoring system that so impressed Hillary Clinton was created by the international NGO One World as a contribution to freer and fairer elections. Senegal was where the One World system was first deployed. In each of 1,500 polling stations, trained monitors check that proper procedures are being followed and the data is then coded so that it can be sent by SMS to the central situation room in Dakar and they are instantly analysed and displayed, showing up as green for good, shading to red where problems are reported. Very, very impressive, very, very well organised. Um, seems that I'm very, very impressed with the data collection and the analysis is um, just, you know, it's unbelievable. You have to see it <laughs> to believe it. Yeah. Armed with information about what's happening across the country at all times on election day, Senegal civil society leaders were able to react quickly, contacting election officials to fix problems like missing ballot papers and tipping off police about vote buying incidents in several locations. Perhaps most importantly, just knowing that someone is watching and sending reports to a central situation room tends to keep people honest. And the speed of the system means that real results can be known just hours after the polls close making it almost impossible for a candidate to declare victory if he or she hasn't truly won the most votes. Ultimately, these tools enable local civil society to take back the lead in monitoring their own elections, promoting transparent and open systems. And they give civil society the power to announce to the world, based on accurate real-time information, whether the processes were credible and the results should be accepted. We are celebrating democracy, the victory of democracy in Senegal. After Senegal, the One World System was deployed in Mali, Sierra Leone and Guinea-Bissau, all countries attempting to re-establish democracy after military coups or civil war. The situation in Mali was particularly complex. In the wake of the recent coup there, the return to successful democracy would depend on fair and credible elections. And that's where One World's election monitoring system would come into play because uh, having all those election monitors all over the country monitoring what was happening could give the international community a real sense of the credibility of the elections. To help ensure that credibility, another key factor was how well informed people were about their rights and opportunities. So in the weeks running up to the election, One World and its local partners fanned out across the country putting on street theatre presentations, sketches and games to point up the importance of voting and the issues at stake in the forthcoming election. And for people who had particular questions, One World had implemented a mobile phone service that invited them to put their queries by text messaging and in the run-up to the election, more than 20,000 answers were given by legal experts to questions like where to vote, how to vote and how to make an informed choice. Everything came together as the real-time information came in throughout election day so that by the evening Mali's own election monitoring team was able to say publicly that the elections were credible. From there we've been getting requests uh, from lots of other countries. I've been in contact with people in Algeria, Madagascar, Mozambique, Malaysia uh, over the past couple months alone who are interested in using this type of system. So I think that really shows uh, that the power of the system is really resonating with people around the world. And the key is that the local partners there recognize the power of these tools and they continue to use them long after the election's over. So they can uh, continue monitoring the situation to make sure that the people who are elected on election day then continue to act in the best interest of the citizens long after the elections are over.